Well, hello there, my dear friends. Welcome back to the Scott Reed Project. I have got three lambs in the back. Check this out. Now I'm off to the farm to cut these up. This is a private job for a friend of mine who's a farmer, raises his own lambs. He's taking them to obviously be slaughtered and he wants a bit of SRP action on them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna set the camera up and let it roll and see what we can do. Listen to Zeppelin, man. Can't turn it up, so I'll get done. So this is my favorite kind of job. We got a hogger here killed a week ago, so it's been hanging for a week, 33 kilos. Now I'm doing this for a farmer. Uh, he wants to cut a certain way. So I'm just gonna leave the camera rolling and get on with it. So we start by removing the kidneys, taking out the fat. Just peeling out those kidneys real quick. All that lovely suet, look. Just pushes out. And then over the pelvic girdle, just take a bit of fat. Then, I'm gonna go there. Bit tougher, it's being a bit bigger animal. So through with the saw. That gives us our leg. You'll get an idea of the size of it now. So we want to take the breast quite big straight through and then the shoulder six ribs down over should just be nicking the blade bone as you can see there just the tip of the blade bone right let's do this first half neck off Then he wants one shoulder on the bone in half. So we'll do that one with this one. Just sheet bone in down those ribs, joining up with the neck, taking in that lovely neck fillet. That's where it was naturally split. So that's just a bit of bone dust. Take that big knob of fat out there squaring it off as we go take that so classic way we're just going to nip that knuckle and then we're looking to miss the main bone in the shoulder blade so we feel for it go to one side we only want the little bone to show Remove the bone dust, that bit of fat as well. There we have our shoulders on the bone. Crap in a bucket. Okay, so for the breast he wants one rolled, one put through the mincer. So we're just gonna take it off the bone really easily. Again, sheep bone in it. Obviously, like I said, this being a hog it, it's got a little bit more fat. But fat equals flavor. So, that's our whole breast then. It's a massive one. Just trim that back. Just trimming out the excessive fat. Take a tip off 
Obviously this is the equivalent to your brisket. And again, just squaring up all the time. Take some more fat out, not too much. And as you can see, that's quite fatty. So I'm gonna go there and I'm gonna salvage that bit out. Stick it back in there. Actually, just sheet that off. Stick it back in there and then just gently roll it up and tie it. Love a slow roasted breast of lamb. Pot roasted with some veg, you cannot beat it. So nothing too fancy. Just square it up into the mince. That gives you one bone breast. Onto these mahusive legs. Just take that flank off. Again, trim, knock that knuckle off, he wants some shanks, so finding that kneecap, that patella, One shank. Next we are going to take off the chump. These he wants staked. So H bone, give it a th thumb, fingers length on an angle towards the tail. And now again, the other side of the patella, the kneecap, you can hear, it stops there, just to show you. So we want that, we want to miss that H bone. Have a look at them. Okay, so we bone this out. Again, just tracing over that hip bone, around the back, the natural curve you can see in there. It's a lot of fat there. I'm gonna trim that off, take that down bit more fat on there than I want. So we take that. Then onto our loin. So when I said we cut those shoulders off just taking in the tip of the blade bone, that is what I mean. Turn her over, 
go down the backbone, again taking off any excess fat and we want to judge how big we want these chops so I'm going to go there, the front will be cutlets. Straight off, this straight into the mince. The beauty of this, it's been hung for a week, so it's got a bit of integrity to work with, also that fat helps. But again, you know, you could put all this through the mincer, but you don't want it too fatty. So I'm thinking, we'll take that off, put that through. That is pretty much pure fat. Okay, for this one, the loin, you want cutlets and loin chops. So. Separate the loin. Again, there's a big, big knob of fat in here. So, just gonna go under it. And then, this is what we call going through the sixpence. We're gonna go through every individual vertebra and that will give you your decent sized chops. As you'll see now, they come through. I mean, I, I love lamb fat. I think it tastes absolutely gorgeous. Push them to one side, cutlets in, just cutting off that backbone. Then, with our knife, again, sheep bone in. Taking off a bit of that fat. These are going to look amazing, but they may have a little bit of fat on them. There are your cutlets. Okay then, so the next half he wants done exactly the same, but this time he wants the shoulders bone. So, I shall get to the shoulder part and I will show you the bone and rolling. Good, isn't it?
Well, my friends, the job is a good one. Let's see if I can get it all in for you because it's quite, <laughs> takes up the whole block. So what have we got? Obviously our shanks, that boned and rolled breast, our neck, we're just gonna cut into rings. Obviously our rump steaks, our cutlets, two kidneys, our loin chops, and then here, put the camera down, excuse the jolt. Uh, the one shoulder he wanted on the bone in half, there's that boned and rolled shoulder, and of course, your legs. And that's it. One lamb done. Looking good, if I may say so myself. So if you've enjoyed what you've seen here today on the SRP, please click subscribe when my beautiful face comes up down here. Also check me out on my social media, Facebook two pages, Scott Reed and the Scott Reed Project. Also on my Twitter at the Scott Reed Project, on my Instagram at the Scott Reed Project. And also check out my Patreon page if you feel like sharing the love. So until next time, my friends, slamming the lamb. Take care.